Enjoy the view. You're going to fall for it. <laughs> can I? Can I? Oh, no. 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 Okay, nothing. Fine. I guess I'll... Jeez, fine. I'll go and do my job. I'll go and murder that journalist. Here we go. Hello, folks. Welcome back to Three Ways to Play with Outside Xbox, and we're playing Hitman 3, which is very exciting. As you'll notice, uh, I'm on top of a giant skyscraper for some reason. Well, not for some reason, for murder reasons, because we're here to murder a couple of people. There they are. Uh, Carl Ingram and Marcus Stuyvesant are, are their names. Welcome to Dubai 47. Uh, you've been enrolled as a member of staff here at the fancy party, so there'll be no partying for you. Only waitering and catering. <laughs> the size of that wig. We're back. You'll have some of the most important people in the world out there. Art critics, royalty, politicians, YouTubers, you name YouTubers? What do you make of that, 47? Unmoved. You can't come to a building that is this ridiculously tall and not throw your targets off it to the, uh, to the unforgiving Dubai pavement below. So that's going to be my sort of objective. That's my stated goal. I'm putting this out there into the universe. I'm going to manifest it. Both those guys are going off this building. So let's go. Let's see how we do. Welcome to the Baj Al Ghazali. <laughs> such respect and such deference for a man who's showed up to quite a posh party dressed as Coco the Clown. Let's get away. Let's be off. Let's go find one of my two targets here in Dubai. Man, this is way less glamorous than when you <laughs> parachute in and put a suit on and step into the foyer of this in incredible skyscraper i'm just in the in the access corridors behind the scenes okay i suppose i need to get to like the atrium that's like the central the, the central hub of this level so if i get past the uh oh wait no i can pop out here if he's not looking if that notice is not looking i'm just gonna yeah here we are party central where are they? Let's have a look. It's always good. Right, okay, they're over there. One of them's in like a penthouse, um, which is going to be tricky, I would say. Uh, and the other one, I assume, is just milling around the party somewhere. All right, so this is new for um, for Hitman 3. I've got a, uh, a special hacking camera. But also, I can, I can take pictures with that. I can put filters on. Oh, that's fun. You know, get some, some good hard evidence of my crimes to be used against me in court. I assume that's the reason for that. I think we're going to get into the more public areas now. Um, oh, a wide array of... I can't go into a party dress like this. Uh, it'll be pretty obvious that I haven't come in the front door. Put any of this on? 47, do you want to just throw a, a jacket on over that, maybe? All right, well... Maybe something... Oh, no. Good. Good. All right. 47... I guess, did a quick change, quick tear away uh, parachute suit. Okay, so I've heard that my first target can, can sometimes be found admiring like the art installation, like the experiential art installation here in Dubai. There's a sign for it, there you go. That's the, um, that's the artist, Lucy Phillips. I think if I know modern art, there's gonna be an, <laughs> there's gonna be opportunity to murder someone with it here. Oh, hello. There's that. That hitman splendor. God, look at that. Yes. Ah, oh, places, crowds of people. Love that video game escapism. All right, let's see if we can uh, track down the targets, shall we? Okay, this looks like something that might be interesting. This guy has got clearance to go upstairs, but they won't let him through without being searched. Hmm, okay. That's something worth remembering for later, but let's just keep looking around. Uh, don't want to commit ourselves just yet. Hmm. What I love about this place is the sort of tasteful restraint that they've shown in the decor. Really, um, really understated. Just a big... Liquid pool of gold dripping from the ceiling. Classy. Let's go see some art, 47. Okay, this is the um, the next level of bar. 
So the VVIP bar here. That's the oh, and that's the artist on the left. You can tell because she's got art clothes. And up another level to the VVIP bar, I guess, and uh, the art. So there we here we go. It's called Accumulus. Sky is the limit because it looks like clouds. It looks like Minecraft clouds. You don't be afraid to take the installation in at your own pace. Thank you. At my own pace. Well, in these shoes, probably quite slow. Ooh, it looks like um, Minecraft clouds or possibly something from Control. You know what I mean? Like some sort of bad, nefarious entity from beyond, right out of control. Anyway, look, it's um, it's sort of like motion sensitive or proximity sensitive. So if you go and like brush up against some of these Minecraft clouds, they sort of light up, which is pretty. Genuinely, I would go and see this if it were a, a real walkthrough art exhibition. And I was allowed to, to leave the house. There we go. And this is the sun at the center of the exhibition. What I do notice is that there is like a couple of inches of just water here, because art, that you can splash around in at the foot of the sun. Well, all these lights are powered by something, so I'm gonna say, let's get backstage. Here we go. Let's get backstage and up onto the gantry and look for some electrical things to fiddle with. What I really want to do is get outside the building and climb up. Oh, look, burning oil fields as well. A modern parable. There's a ledge here and I could just hop over it. And there's not a lot going on over there, so... I mean, people will freak out, won't they? But there's a helicopter there. I could escape in a helicopter. I assume I'm immediately trespassing at the point when I launch myself off the side of a skyscraper. Wow, look at that outfit. Amazing. Cool, okay. Um, let's just hope these people aren't really looking when I do this. Well, I guess they weren't. All right, there he is. That's my first target, Mr. Stuyvesant. Well, we'll soon see... Yeah, more like Marcus Diversant soon, in that he'll die and also dive off the building. You hear that, Stuyvesant? Yeah, that's right. All right, no entry. That means there's probably something good back there. We'll just wait for this guy to move. You gonna move? Just first-class security. So here we are, backstage, uh, where the magic happens where the art gets made and we've got like stage crew oh oh blows we might get some irregularities with the lights irregularities with the lights well what i heard mainly is fuse box so here's the fuse box and all right if i'm going to meddle with the fuse box i'm going to need a crowbar and here we go that was convenient now i don't think anyone's going to mind if i just nab this crowbar so let's just nab this crowbar. There we go. Okay, they're talking about the water. Yes, I agree. It does look dicey. Let's get this fuse box open. And there we go. There we go. Now I've got a fuse, which is step one of what I imagine is a fuse puzzle. Okay, I'm in a hostile area now. Ooh wee. That is... That is tall. That is tall. I mean, that's a, a reasonably substantial building down there. Um, and I'm considerably higher up than that. So, fine. Good. Um, absolutely fine with this, obviously. Uh, definitely not afraid of heights. Been here before. Hokkaido. Did a lot of hanging off the side of a building then. You know, this is... Uh, this is the first time we're playing Hitman 3 properly. And there is an exploding barrel there, so it would be remiss of me not to just test the explosion physics. That's not an explosion physic. That's just fire. Oh my god, I've never been more d disappointed in my life. What's going on? Let's, uh... Let's lure this guy back over here. Like this. And then he comes over here, picks up the coin, turns around, job's a good one. All right, great, security outfit. And then you go in here, pick up the gun, and the yes, security key, brilliant. All right, perfect. Now, where to use this fuse? 
Use the fuse. Oh, 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 here we go. Oh, yes, this is like the, I guess, like the one-way mirror next to the, to the sun installation here. So, can I, can I just, like, stuff a fuse in it? Apparently not. Okay, no, there will be no fuse stuffing. Okay, this is, this is a more, it's a more complex and fiendish fuse puzzle than I imagined. I got word that he entered the building, but he hasn't reported for duty yet. Probably still down at the depot. Brilliant. All right, there's a new security guard assigned to one of my targets. Used to work for someone I already murdered, so that means they're probably not very good. That's excellent news. Uh, all right, he hasn't got his papers. So I think if I were to go in a qu and find these papers, I could probably pass myself off as him. Let's do that. Okay, so we're looking for like the staff, yeah, changing room. Changing room is probably what we're after. Um, somewhere where he would leave his belongings while he gets into his security guard outfit. So let's give that a go. I'm, I feel like my clown outfit may have become untenable. I mean, being compromised in this area isn't, isn't all that special, is it, really? Because ultimately, I, it's a hostile area anyway. So I need to be on my toes regardless. There's another supposedly exploding barrel not falling for that again i like the gold nose on that helicopter very swish am i on the same level as the no i'm i mean i'm actually miles away from either of them to be honest so this is going swimmingly as you might imagine let's pretend to be the pilot hey let's let's be you oh there's a guard there um oh that's well there's an exploding barrel next to two next to two burning barrels so, should we pop this guy? Let's just pop him over here. They've calmed down over there. Oh no, well that eliminates him apparently. That's weird. Let me put the disguise on first. I, I mean, surely he's not gonna... Surely he wouldn't be killed if I dropped him off here. Surely not. Where did he go? Where did he go? Oh, he fell... Oh, he won't, fell... Fell apart. I think he maybe clanged his head on that thing and then fell past. Okay, fair enough. Hitman three. We've got unfinished business in terms of explosion physics. So let's let's just pop a um, pop something. Pop a coin here and see see what the story is. Is anyone going to go and investigate that? Oh, they're moving. Yeah, yeah, he's moving. He's moving. All right, here we go. Oh, good, good flip, good flip. Okay, good. I'm glad that still works. I just... Oh, dear. Oh, um... Okay, so... Uh, my test has uh, had a bit of collateral damage, let's say. So let's go a bit... Let's go non-lethal from now on. Um, because this is, isn't ideal, really, for my score. I'm in my boxers, and you are a woman. It's just... It's... Hey, you... I have a problem. What's the I'm problem? I'm supposed to meet up for duty, but they can't find my uniform. That's not my problem. Yeah. I need help. You look my size. If, if you're off duty, couldn't I just borrow your uniform? No. It's my first day. Oh, okay. So this is the guy. Are you using those papers? All right. Hang on. I feel like he's gonna he's gonna notice if I just steal his papers. So let me just pop a coin in the corner, grab those, and then I'll just be on my way. See you later. Hope hope you sort out that whole uniform uh, situation. Sounds like a real mess. Hello. Uh, I know I was just in here a minute ago, but I, j I just remembered um, that it's uh, it's me. I am the new guy. I've got papers. Oh, hey. Hello. Yes, that's me. Don't sneak up on me like that. I don't have very good situational awareness. Yes, of course. Whoa. Okay, that guy... That guy is a way better security guard than me. He can walk through doors. It's fine for a helicopter pilot to have a wrench, right? I mean, it would be a bit disconcerting if you were about to get on a helicopter and the pilot was using a wrench on it. But um, but it's fine for me to carry this around, presumably. Hello. Oh, you pilot the heli out there? Yes. Look, I'm afraid I can't let you through here. I'm sorry, my friend. What? You're very polite. You are you are very polite. I will give you that. But on the other hand, I do rather need to get out there. So, um, hmm. I mean, how are we looking? How are we looking for uh, for other guards? Oh, that was rude language. He was polite. He became very much less polite when I uh, 
to a wrench at him. Okay, I am trespassing now. I could, I mean, I could be the guard, couldn't I, really? Yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's make life easy for myself. You know, this is the first one back. I'm a little rusty. Not really sure what I'm doing. So, um, yeah, let's make it easy on myself. That's Carl Ingram. Yeah, I know it's Carl Ingram. I'm not that out of practice. I could lie on his bed. Blend in his penthouse. Oh, I could, I could tidy his bed. Fine. Out on the balcony, maybe? Hmm. What have we got out here? I mean, this seems extremely dangerous. This is just... I mean, you could just trip and absolutely brain yourself. Stuyvesant's below, though, isn't he? <laughs> you, lady, are going to be here a while, I think. Probably. Okay. I reckon... Can we go? No. Oh, wrong side of the ladder. 47. There we go. Here we go. So nip up here, and maybe there'll be something I can jam a fuse inside here. Not that. Mm, I could drop that that on someone, but not right now. There we go. Install fuse. Intel. What's this Intel say? Um, a note from one of the technicians. Make sure you don't put the fuse back in until we have figured out the electrical issue with the sun. Ha <laughs> ha! That's what I like to hear. That's sort of like Intel after the fact. I sort of, sort of made the connection for myself there. As a genius electrical engineer, I had already figured it out. Here we go. Okay. So now let's take a look. Voltmeter. Safe. Oh, well, that's no good. So it's all safe right now, which is fine because the target's all the way over there. The voltage, like, fluctuates according to whether someone is... Yeah, 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 because it's like proximity sensitive or motion sensitive or whatever. So whenever someone is like standing right in front of the sun, the voltage surges up and then we kill you with electricity. Question mark. Your papers were indeed impressive, but I need to see what you can do. Does it say in those papers how everyone was killed by Agent 47 at all? I feel like this guy's padded his CV a bit, maybe. Left out how everyone was brutally murdered. You see the shooting targets? Any fool could shoot a target. Yeah. With a knife? You want me to shoot these targets with a knife? Oh, throwing knives. No, that does that does make more sense, yeah. Okay, one masterful display of knife throwing coming up. Yeah. And Yeah. And one over here. Mm. And final one. Bam! Thank you. I like you. Oh man, I could do it right now, but this guy's looking. That would be bad. That's Marcus Stuyvesant, Providence partner, self-entitled and arrogant yes, little wolf. So not a fan then, are we? He might not look like much, but he's done more damage to the world than you could dream. 47 doesn't dream. He doesn't dream, he just replays his old missions in his head. I might be able to get, if he comes back here, I might be able to get him from up in the penthouse. That would be pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, in fact, look, he walks right under this balcony. Okay, back up to the penthouse. I've been up on that balcony, so I know he... I know I can get there, and I know now that he comes underneath that area uh, on his patrol, patrol route. Hey... Just planning your assassination, don't mind me. Okay, this is 47 thinking hard. Having ideas. Bling! Idea. Idea. And they're all murder ideas. Here's another idea. And idea. And what are you thinking about, 47? So this is the balcony I need. This is the balcony that Stuyvesant's going to walk under. So if I can pop Stuyvesant here, I can then deal with Ingram afterwards. Oh, <laughs> there's a... If I have a screwdriver, I can tamper with this railing. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Right, I have to find a screwdriver now. Absolutely have to find a screwdriver. Come on, Stuyvesant. I'm not going to have long to get this done. He's going to the bar. He's going to ask about his whiskey. 
And then, pa-pow, I'm going to shoot him in the head. Are you off? Are you leaving? Yes, brilliant. All right. Hmm. Okay, there's a, I could push him now, but there's a bit of a, there's a ledge below him, so he's not going to go all the way down. I'm going to choke him out. And then, can we drag him to the, to the edge? Because I, I really, I want him to have the full, the full drop. Come on, Marcus. Go on, Marcus. Yes, Marcus. Get right in there. Splash around in the art. Oh, there's a lady. There's a lady as well. Is she collateral damage? No, she's not collateral damage. Not today. Well done, lady. It's your lucky day. Here we go. Lovely. Yes. Yes. Oh, he got all electric. What a devastating, terrible, tragic accident here in the art. Right, here we go. There he is. Come on, line it up, line it up. Don't move. You got him. Done. Marcus what a shot. Won't be a problem anymore. What a shot. Hmm. Where's a good spot? Yeah, here, here seems good. All right. Enjoy the view. You're going to fall for it. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. And the bank shot, the ricochet. Beautiful. Side pocket. Ten points. <laughs> All right, good. What was that? Helicopter key. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Okay, they've got no idea what's happened. Now, I'm going to find that screwdriver and um, and tamper with the guy's balcony and hopefully he'll lean on it and then um, he'll fall off the side of a building, which will be pretty entertaining as well. And now, we need to move on to Carl Ingram, who is... Uh, over there. Either sitting down or in a very deep squat. So let's go and get him. Got to find that screwdriver. It's just too amazing to um, to not witness, basically. Um, target lockdown. That's not gone well. It's fine. He'll come out of lockdown eventually. He'll have to. He's got to go back to living his life. Okay, this is that guy I saw earlier. Um, arguing with the security by those stairs. So it looks like he's got an appointment to be up there. Um, I mean, they did just have a conversation with him and he looks nothing like me, but we could always, we could always give it a go. All right, next up, I'm going to need to sneak up to my second target. Uh, I have previously scoped out this dude here, the vulture, as, um, as my disguise of choice for getting up to my my second victim so business as usual following procedure we'll be luring the vulture over here with a convenient sound system or something okay oh crouch 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 oh uh, nothing nothing okay subdue subdue Okay, so we choke this guy out. It's fine. He's an assassin. He, he'll get it. He'll understand. If anyone will understand, it'll it'll be him. He's he's basically like a less good forty-seven. So let's take his clothes. And what else has he got? Anything good? Yeah. Ooh. Yes. I'll take the lethal pills. I didn't bring any poison. Never know when you might need a lethal poison pill jar. Beautiful. Go straight into the undergrowth where he's hidden, and now the assa the assassin. All right, looking good, looking good, looking nothing at all like the person they just spoke to. But let's um, let's see how this goes. So where has he been locked down to? Is is he cowering in his office? Yeah, he's carrying in his office. He'll get bored. He'll get bored. By the time I've found a screwdriver, he'll have he'll have gotten bored. Hey folks, it's me, I'm back. Yeah. Hey. I changed my mind. Can I listen, sir, there's no drama. Just need to check your pockets. No not even a problem. Go for it. This hey. way? This way. Greetings, sir. Yes. Yes. You're gonna wanna frisk me, aren't you? Yes. You Knew it. 
absolutely knew it. And that's why I didn't bring a gun, in fact. Sorry about this, sir. Won't be a moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pat, pat away. You'll find nothing Thank unless you. you read the label on this jar of poison pills. Uh, just doing your job, I understand. It's very, very important. Want to stay safe. All right. You're doing great work. Good job, sir. Thank you. Hello, it's me. I'm back. Um, I thought about some stuff. Uh, I thought, yep. I thought about so stuff so hard, all my hair fell out. My voice, um, I changed my voice as well. I'm a different, I feel like a different man. And as such, all my opinions have changed also. Great, yeah, lead the way. Hello, yes. Take me to my target, please. I mean, my client, please. Can I just say, I really, I really enjoy this, this kind of like long yellow jacket. This long golden robe thingy. I would absolutely wear the hell out of that around the house. Any screwdrivers at all. There's one. There is one. Right. Okay. I don't think the target's locked down anymore. So let's pop that away. Pop that in the old pocket. Hopefully don't accidentally stab myself in the crotch. That would be bad. Uh, right. Back up to the penthouse. Tamper with the thing. Um, just wait, wait for the comedy to ensue. Okay, so Mr. Ingram is is expecting me for um a meeting, a non-violent meeting, but we'll see about that. Oh, excuse me. Please go in and make yourself comfortable. I will. Thank you. Mr. Ingram will be with you shortly. Yes, you. perfect. Up we go. Been recording a security camera. When has that ever bothered me? Literally never. That notice has bothered me though. Oh, different route, different route. Oh, out here. Yeah, I went, I went out this way, didn't I? Yep, fine. Still a nude guy there, but that's fine. <laughs> that's all right. Here we go. This is it. Oh, he's on, is he on the balcony right now? Oh no. Oh no. Uh, okay, conference room. There are one, two, three. Many guards. Many guards. Many deadly guards with guns. So this may not be the venue for um, for whacking this guy. Don't know how I'm going to throw him off the building in this room. A pleasure to meet you. And you. Omar tells me great things about you. I have heard great things about this building. Why don't we um, why don't we go and check out the roof? I'd love to see the view. Now this guy, Mr. Ingram, I I just want to say looks quite like the dad from Frasier. Yes. I think you'll agree, like a much less wholesome dad from Frasier. Now I want you to silence this little pain. Say no more. You think you can do that? Absolutely. I, do best. I like your bluntness. This is his file. Oh yeah. If you got a picture, that would actually help. Pulitzer winning freelance journalist. He's good, and won't give up until he gets the answers he needs. Uh, okay. Kind of burgundy jacket, black shirts, glasses. Yep. Got it. There we go. There's there's my target. There's my fake target. This will be your most challenging role of a, a lifetime, 47. Pretending to be an assassin. And remember, I want a picture. I want proof so I can sleep tonight. I'm All right. sure you can see yourself. Yeah, not a problem. I work quickly. That's Carl Ingram, Providence partner and Brass Balls billionaire. Brass Balls billionaire. That's pretty good. Oh, that's... That's literally the balcony I was going to sabotage. I'm going to have to wait now. Just hang out. Never contemplate crossing you, this isn't weird, is it? But no favor this isn't weird, is it, Carl? Is this weird? You me that. Let me know if it's weird. You Are you going to leave? Because this whole mirror thing's not working for me at all. Uh, okay, so that he said back at the inauguration, which was down here on the left, I think. So we just got to find that guy in the crowd. I'm just curious. Do I really need to go and and fake murder this journalist target, or can I just just sort of tail you to your penthouse? I mean, what if I just like shortcut it a bit, and no one seems to mind. Like no one's kicking off that I'm just tailgating you into the building. Oh wait, no, this guy. Oh. Damn, he's just too sharp, too on it, too dedicated to his job to just... Can I... Can I... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, nothing, fine. I guess I'll... Jeez, fine. I'll go and do my job. I'll go and murder that journalist. 
Right, this'll have to do. Sorry, buddy, you were just sort of in the way, unfortunately. So I'm going to pop you over the side here. Um, hopefully no one will see this. There we go. This guy, I think. Oh, here we go. Escort the reporter. Mr. Lowe, I hear you're looking for information. Oh, really? Okay. You know what's happening upstairs? Yes, I do. Oh, so much about what's happening upstairs. Yes. Follow me to the to Yes, the toilet. We have to discuss it here in this toilet. It's important we do the discussion in here. Wait. Wait here. Wait looking in this direction. Okay, stop. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Perfect. Sorry, friend. I'm not your new secret informant. I am, in fact, a hitman pretending to be a hitman. <laughs> subdue. Subdue, subdue, subdue. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. Tampering. Tampering. Okay, I'm unscrewing this railing. I can just hang out behind here. I'm just gonna hang here. I'm just gonna hang here for ever. All right, and now I just need to take a photo. Uh, which filter should we use? Amora. Ooh, black and white. That's nice. Late sunset. Yeah, it's black and white. It's classy. Yes, that's it. A little bit of depth of field. Just make it a little bit arty. How about a filter. Get some Instagram filters on. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. That's, that's the it. one. No one spotted me. And I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to wait here. I'm going to really test 47's upper body strength. All right. Drag this. Drag this lad away. Do you... Do you mind? I'm trying to... I'm trying to be stealthy here. You're making toilet lid noises. Right, so I needed to talk to Miss Toe, who was the lady in the yellow uh, cardigan thing. Hello. Hi. Hey, I'm back. Did the thing, did the thing, I've got the thing. Did the thing and I've got the thing. Wait, do you want to see the thing? Here we go. And... Mr. Kazim, welcome back. So, you have the picture. I do, I do. I do got the picture. It's got filters on it. It's all arty. Do you... Oh, okay. Got to come around here. Here we go. Yes, here. Good. Our guest will be delighted. Please follow me. You have the picture. I do, and it is a beautiful, classy black and white shot. Yes. We'll appreciate the composition. Any time now. Any time now they're going to come. Back to the penthouse. And this time I'm allowed. No one can stop me because I've done my... So, I've done my audition. So, I'm not pretending do you, to have you like the building? It's very nice. This has been His Royal Highness's dream. I think for even longer than I have known. To own a big building. Everything <laughs> big fancy building. Completely self-sufficient. Oh, that is cool. Electricity, internet, even water is cleaned and reused. This sheik it's sounds all right. Sounds like a nice, nice guy. Maybe. I'm glad that he's he's caring about the future of the planet. That's good. Glad we're not here to kill him. Oh, look, his arms are moving. It's like he's doing tiny, tiny, weeny chin-ups. Okay, we're getting close, folks. We're nearly there. Mr. Ingram. Oh, here we go. The man himself, Picture. again. Your problem is fixed. <laughs> Omar said you were good. Let's get down to the important business. Probably hand. secret business, so you don't want all these people hearing, right? Okay, people, clear the room. Yeah, that's what I thought, yeah. some delicate business with Mr. Kazim. Perfect. We have Ingram right where we want him. Yeah, off your trot. 47, all of you. You know what to do. Have a drink. I do know what to do. He can do this for days, you know, at a time. Days at a time. All right, the first thing that I know what to do is get rid of this guy. And then, all right, let's, all right, let's choke him out real quick. Get this guy hidden. Mm, don't look at me. Hide. All right, quick, 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 get the gun, put that away. And then we want to drag you Over to the balcony. Come on out to the balcony, you jerk. Oh, this is why stealth is so boring. Right, poison pills go in whiskey. Definitely, definitely. Is he a whiskey drinker? We're going to assume. Is he a lemonade drinker? No, can't poison that. More lemonade. No, can't poison that. Lemonade. 
or whatever. Iced tea. Can't poison that. Uh, wine. Wine. Oh, that's for me. That's for that's for me. That's for me, the vulture, aka forty-seven. Well, let's uh, let's have a sip. Try and blend in. Try and look casual. Just uh, assume this. I assume this wine is for me. It's been left out to breathe. And now I I quickly need to think up something, some kind of clever uh, falling off a building thing. Um. Oh, that helicopter reminds me that I haven't really thought about how I'm getting out of this situation. Uh, when it happens, but you know what? Planning's for losers. Ah, yes. Mm. Let's enjoy the view. Look at those clouds. Uh, a drink. Good idea. Oh, he's going for it. He's even though it's pink and steaming and smoky and flat. Oh, instant poison. And he's down. Here comes the drop. Does that work? Like a dubstep thing. Well, down he goes, anyway. Okay, it's, it's meeting time. All right. Okay. Okay, I'm going to have to move out of the way, because otherwise he's going to spot me. Here he is. He's, uh... Well, he is leaning, but he's not leaning on the, the bit that I've tampered with. Which is a bit of a problem in the plan. Um... Just gonna have to improvise. Hold on. Uh, here we go. <laughs> See you, Carl. There he goes. Oof, oof. That looks painful. Um. Oh no, the sheep's coming. Ah. Uh. We got him. Forty-seven. Soon there will be no more providence. You need to find an exit. Our business is done here, but it's far from. Okay, the sh sheik's coming over now. Um. Oh, oh no. Oh dear. Oh. Oh, that's gone badly wrong. Oh. Ouch. Oh. Oh dear. Right. Well. His bodyguards seem somewhat unconcerned. But if he never leaves, do they never leave? And how do I get out of here? Hey, um... Yeah, I don't know where he went. He said he had to go and uh, take care of some business. And then he let... I, I know he didn't go past you. And there are no other exits from this room. But I think he's pro he probably just he just left. That's probably normal. And you shouldn't, shouldn't worry about it. I, I think to just take the rest of the day off. I would. That's what I'm going to do. Great results there, 47. Maybe just enjoy the wine a little bit longer. Just going to go one more sip. And uh, I'll see myself out, shall I? This way, is it? This way, let's just... Uh, they're suspicious. They're right to be suspicious, to be fair. That was a very suspicious, failed exit. But uh, I, there'll be another way out. There'll be another way out down here. Look, there's, uh, there's one. And... Oh, there's another one. Where's the nearest exit? Oh, I should have should have brought my parachute, shouldn't I? How are we going to get out of here? It would be a shame not to use the helicopter, considering that I have the helicopter key. Oh, they're going. <laughs> they're clearly like, well, our work here is done. Oh my god, look at the sword. Look at He dropped his ceremonial sword before he went. That's incredible. I assume I can't just... Well, I assume I can't just have that. And also... I'm going to have to muscle up here. Right, um... 1-8 scimitar. ATM keycard. Sweet. Hit the ATM before I go. Where does this go? Yes, right, there's the helicopter. Am I allowed to have this? Yeah, apparently so. Wow. This sword is amazing. All right, there's <laughs> something of a noticer there, but he's fine. This is a breeze. This is an absolute breeze. Ah, crowbar. Perfect. Don't want you hearing anything. Right. Crowbar. Down we go. And then we're just going to pop around here. This, everyone's fine with this, right? I've got the key. Off we go. See you later. Bye. Thanks for having me. See you next time. I had a lovely time murdering people. 
All right. Yeah. That's right. Assassinate a target without getting spotted. This is the cool parachuting exit. Finally, I get to do some cool parachuting. Okay, 47. Just act natural. Just act like someone who wanted to jump off a building with a parachute would. And we're away. That was Dubai. That was two targets in Dubai. Uh, not flawless, but I'm not, I'm not not happy with it. You know what I mean? I am a bit sorry for the collateral damage uh, insofar as I did kill the Sheikh. And as far as I know, he's not done anything to deserve that. So, yes, I feel bad about that, but I feel good about my new shiny sword. Why pass up the exit that is right here? There's a there's a way to leap off the building in the style of Carl Ingram and his shake friend. Wow, I guess I'm... Uh, oh, wow, I'm leaving with the sword. Amazing. Perfect. Perfect result as far as I'm concerned. That person on the balcony seems fine with this. Give me the scores. Come on. Give me the scores. I know there were some non-target killed. Okay, let's see how we did. Five stars, silent assassin... Yeah, 156,015 is the score to beat. I poisoned someone and I electrocuted someone. And who can ask for more? I mean, the ICA can because that's four stars. But still, four stars, half an hour, I'll take it. I just got a little lost on my way out. Happens to the best of us. <laughs> trap Smith. Seems a bit unfair given that the only trap I set up was triggered by someone who wasn't the target. That's no stars. That is a big fat... Zero. Big fat duck egg. Um, oh well. Uh, I'm happy anyway uh, with my performance. Okay, folks, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this uh, three ways to play on Hitman 3. Uh, if you like this, please do subscribe for plenty more Hitman 3 and lots more three ways to play where we uh, pit our unique gaming styles against each other. And we will see you next time on Outside Xbox for more of this kind of thing. Thanks for watching. Bye.